What a crazy adventure to get wood. Not even people to make buildings, just wood. Uh, yeah, their debt's been exonerated. Crevins. Why didn't you have a debt bird? Your beauties, your, your bonnie, bonnie, wee beauties, I've got my forest back. It's all thanks to the, yourselves. You can have all the trees you want, knock yourselves out, and we tear down the whole forest. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now we can finally start building our kingdom. I'm actually really surprised we didn't really have a boss fight in the woods. I guess the golem counts, but that was still related to the factory. Wait, Niall, Pugnacious had his king's bond stolen by a creepy snake-headed weirdo. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Jinx! Stolen Jinx! His kingmaker must be tearing this place to pieces. Aye. Aye, it wanted to, sure enough, but we taught it a little lesson it won't forget. Goldpaw's safe for now. King's Bond stealing's no mean feat, though. He didn't happen to be infusing things with an awful filthy thug, did he? What does that mean? Hmm. Yes, a sort of purple aura? Is that what that means? Hmm. That'll be the horned ones doing then, right then, of the devil? The horned one? The old kingmaker of a place called Allegoria, a nasty piece of rock, and no mistake for someone to be using the beastie's power would have the mean. I cannot see it being any more but Delorn. He was the king that shared a bond with the creature. Uh huh. So we just need to go to this Allegoria place and get the bond back, right? We'll have a job but done dying that, I'm afraid. Allegoria has not existed for all 2,000 or more years now. It disappeared along with the land on which it stood. Golly. So he's the king of a country which hasn't existed for centuries? I like that sound that Tani made. What does that mean? Is he a ghost or something? Whatever he is, I'd say he's looking to pinch people's king's bonds in order to try and bring the horned one back somehow. And if he does that, the whole world will be filled with the purple fog before you can say, we're doomed! Hmm. So Pugnacious was right. He'll be trying to steal more king's bonds. But what are you looking at me like that for, man? Then we mustn't let him succeed. We can't let him bring back the Horned One. We sure can't, but if we're going to stop him, we'll need the strength of the entire kingdom. Kingdom we haven't even started building yet. Then let's go to work, shall we? Our right, time's to get building, Mihartis. Yeah. I sounds like a plan right enough. I'd best come with ye. You'll be needing my help. But really? Speaking of which, things will be getting underway by now that I can... Mm -hmm. Huh? You ready starting building? It's like a full kingdom. Uh, it smells a smell on the wind. Not a progress. They really did start going. Got tired of twiddling their thumbs. <laughs> well, that's nice. Oh my! Where did all these people come from? I see Sky Pirates, Gringlings, even a few people from Ding Dong Dell. I'm surprised we don't see anyone from Goldpaw, but whatever, we just, you know, saved the whole city. It's fine. We must all want to be citizens of our amazing new kingdom. That they must have right enough, but how did the swabs even know to come a knocking? <laughs> Facebook. You've made a thing for that, son. I didn't expect so many to turn up so soon, to be honest. I put the word out on the street, you can. Oh, we thank you for getting the Arl the Forest back, like... That's more than we could have hoped for. I'll oh, think nothing of it. I ask only the teensy weensiest of favors in return that you make me your Minister of Finance. You? You gambled money away. Well, the forest away. Those none can pinch a penny like I can. I think that sounds like a wonderful idea. So if Niall's the Minister of Finance, I guess that makes Batu the Minister of Defense? <laughs> the swab's in charge of fighting, you mean? I like the sound of that good old deal, ha ha. -ar. And I guess I can be your advisor. I have a little experience running a country, I'm sure I can help out here and there. No, it'll be the chief council. I'm no politician, Roland, I shall need your help. Well, that's very kind of you, Evan. I just 
I don't know if I'll be... It's the king's job to appoint his ministers, correct? Then I hereby appoint you chief counsel. Ah, <laughs> uh -huh, well, all right then, chief counsel it is. What about Tani? By royal appointment. Thank you. Thank you, Roland. No problem, happy to see you finally taking the lead. I suppose I am, aren't I? I'm still not sure if I'll be up to the job, but I have to try. And thanks to you all, I finally feel ready to. I'll try my best, for your sakes and for mine. Where's your crown? Flipmon, I almost forgot. If we're building a kingdom, we need a proper tidy name into it to make things official like. Hehe, <laughs> I've been doing some thinking about that. I'm gonna call it Gangster's Paradise. I've decided to call our kingdom. Evermore. That's fine. Well, what do you think? It's fine. It's it's an okay seven out of ten name. Evermore Heart. I like it. Did you come up with that yourself? I asked Facebook. Most of them were uh, derogatory terms as far as suggestions, but then someone said Evermore, and I'm like, I guess I'll go with that. Oh no, it's from an ancient story, the story of a great kingdom whose people were so happy that they wished for it to last forever. Huh. Hmm, fitting. That seems like a... That story might lead to a bad ending, but whatever. Alright, Mr. King, you've named your country. Time to address your adoring citizens. Yar. Oi! <laughs> Oi, governor! Listen up, ye magy curs! King Evans got a rousing speech for ya! Pay attention! Huh? Hmm. I didn't even think of what to say. Oh no! Oh, uh, this place is called Evermore, so I hope you enjoy it. Thank you all! Building our new kingdom won't be easy. But we will build it. What a rousing speech. A beautiful, bountiful kingdom. Where everyone can live happily ever after. Wow. What do you mean, wow? I want you all to join me on this journey. The road ahead may be a long one, but at the end of it, there is hope! Yeah! We're cancelling the apocalypse! Yeah! That was a shit speech. <laughs> There's King Liwa! That wasn't half bad. <laughs> nice speech, Evan. Couldn't have done better myself. Uh, stop! Stop this telling him it's good. Begins here and now, our kingdom. We're with you to the bitter end, lad. Come hell or high water. Part of me really wants to have a time skip Thank where you, Evan grows up. All of you. Like obviously, when we get to the kingdom, you would think many years would have passed, right? So the people who had heeded Neil's call and flocked to the heartlands set about building their new nation, and Evermore took its first faltering steps on the road to becoming a kingdom, a kingdom where everyone could live happily ever after, just as Arinella had wished, or so they hoped. I don't like that "so they hoped" thing. It's mighty suspicious. Yo, but what's up with Cobra Man? Are you Cobra Man? Yo, curious boy might be Cobra Man. For someone with a brand new kingdom, you don't look very happy. Uh, I am happy, but I'm worried. There's still so much we don't know. Like how to make a good speech. And now there's a force bent on destroying our whole world. How can I ever hope to overcome something like that? You can't, on your own. But you're not on your own, are you? No, not anymore. I have friends beside me. The best friends I could ever hope for. What was the, um, the place that the Cobra Man got his power from? I forgot what the, it was called already, but Curious Boy is probably from there. That's right. So I'm basing it mainly just on to. how P worked and, and take it one step at a time. You'll get there in the, the end. Rich. 
I suppose so. I can only do my best after all. <laughs> exactly. And your best is only going to get better. I don't know. I feel like I'll I peaked already, soon, curious Evan. boy. Yes. See you soon. So that was like a really abrupt save your progress thing. We did it. Struggled a bit with that last boss. I probably really do want to start grinding some levels. Like, if they expect... I don't know. I would assume that they would expect me to be closer to level 24 for that. And not 17 and 15. But, yeah, I will try my best next time, I guess. I think eventually we'll be able to, like, upgrade our kingdom. I don't fully know what that means, but hey, we have a f official one with little people in them. It's real now. I, I only brought it up because I'm assuming that we'll learn about that now. I'm hoping that it'll be like a visual thing we could do too. Like it'll visually look upgraded. Because I'm, I'm all for upgrading bases to look cooler. Huh. Evermore is beginning to look like a real kingdom. It is, isn't it? I think it's time we had a little talk about how a country needs to be run, if that's alright with you. No, I want to go play with the children. We can play hoop and stick. Of course, I'll gather everyone together. I mean, they probably have, like, Candy Crush if they have Facebook, right? Chapter 4. Ferdinand. Mighty Ferdinand. Okay, that's a strange chapter name. No idea where that's gonna lead right. us. The castle's ready and things are coming along nicely, which means it's time to get down to the business of running your new nation. We'll need to set up all the various ministries this place will need to grow into a fully-fledged kingdom. And we'll need to assign the right people to the right tasks. Lofty, you do everything. I lad, you're a controlled chaos so the sky putter thing for everybody. <laughs> I've taken a census of all their citizens and listed up who's skilled at what. Deciding who will work where is up to you, though. That's a job for a king. I'm the king. I decide. I'm the decider. So I'll need to think about which roles will suit particular people and assign them accordingly. Yep, ex exactly it. That's right, give it a try. They'll learn fastest by doing. Just take a seat on your throne and start giving some orders. And then a bunch of text boxes telling you exactly how to do it will show up. I want to go play with the kids. Oh wait, no, I'm going to check Facebook first, Roland. Can't stop me. Alright, at least there's only like the one new Facebook. Can't keep a good king down, it seems, and sure enough, Evan has bounced back. This seems like really terrible for us to have someone mentioning, Hey, you know that uh, prince that was supposed to be killed off in that coup? Uh, yeah, he's he's hanging out and building a kingdom. Not fully built yet. Perfect time to attack. Uh, Evan has bounced back and is building a brand new kingdom called Evermore with a little help from his faithful friend Roland. I don't know about you, but I for one am expecting great things. Yay, Prince Evan's alive! Seriously, wow, just wow. I am ashamed to say I was sure he was dead. The person who saw him earlier was right. He's building a new kingdom, really? So he's planning to get Ding Dong Dell back? No, I'm building a better Ding Dong Dell. We're gonna destroy Ding Dong Dell. But Kingdom needs a kingmaker, doesn't it? Indeed, what is he planning to do about that? Evermore is a fine name for a kingdom. I already have a kingmaker. Evan would probably should like actually post something on Facebook. Then again, he might get a little too crazy with his posts. I don't know. I'm not a king. I only have Lofty here to dictate that I'm a king somehow. Oh, so this is going to be upgrading stuff? Oh, interesting. Managing your kingdom. Here's the text boxes. I told you. Evan can sit down in his throne in Evermore Castle and issue orders to his subjects in order to help his kingdom grow and prosper, and in turn make his adventure easier. By building facilities, assigning citizens to run them, and having them carry out research into new technologies and techniques, he can open up a whole world of possibilities. Facilities include shops where unique items can be bought, outfitters that can make all kinds of clothes and armor, and many others. Get building and make Evermore amazing! 
Uh, more. Oh, look, they do look like they change. King's Gilder are the currency of Kingdom Management, so it has nothing to do with my normal currency. And they're entirely separate from the Gilders Evan and his friends can earn elsewhere. They're necessary for every step of a kingdom building, from creation, creating new facilities to upgrading existing facilities to carrying out research at said facilities. Do I earn them just by having... How do how do I earn them is what I want to know. Why not claim your first clutch of King's Gilder? Go to your kingdom's coffers and grab them honest to god i saw coffers over here in the left like out of the corner of my eye while i was reading all that i thought it said coffee i thought we had a coffee shop how silly of me hi roland the tireless efforts of your citizens have earned you a total okay so yeah just gradually over time they'll earn me money Twenty-five thousand uh king gilders your kingdom is growing every day long may it continue so now, how do I choose how to upgrade? Ah, uh, manage a kingdom, probably. They'll gradually accumulate as your citizens go about their business, and you can collect them from your kingdom's coffers as and when you need them. I wonder, is it just time-based? And I wonder if it works when you, like, close down the game, if you can continue to get more. You'll be surprised how quickly they can build up, especially once your kingdom's influence starts to go. So check back regularly and see how things are looking. You may also be able to earn extra King's Gilder by solving the various day-to-day -day problems of your beloved citizens. They have side quests for you, King. You can also see how many King Gilders you've collected in the main menu, so you don't have to go back to Evermore to check every single time. That's convenient, and I'm really glad that exists as a thing. Can I choose where to build stuff? Alright, it's time to take your hard-earned King's Gilder and spend them on building a new facility. You can select and build your facilities your kingdom will need by selecting manage your kingdom from the menu. Building them will of course cost King's Gilder, of course, come on, get it together. Each and every facility can have a hugely beneficial effect from opening up new avenues of research to making new items available, so be sure to consider each one carefully. And don't forget, you can also improve the effects of existing facilities by upgrading them. Oh, check it out, it does upgrade. I mean, I already saw that in the thing, but the castle looks cooler. One particularly helpful facility upgrade is your castle, as doing so will benefit the entire kingdom, broadening its borders so that even more facilities can be built. But leveling up your castle will cost quite a few kings, yielders. Try upping your influence with a few basic facilities first to improve your coffer filling cap capabilities. The first thing you'll need to do is select manage your kingdom and build up the facilities of each of the four ministries surrounding the castle. Probably gonna force me to build these, right? I can't really choose spots, like, too crazy-like. What a cute little town. It's kind of a shame that it looks like I wouldn't be able to actually explore it. Maybe I would. Maybe this menu is the only one that has... Do, do we have little lambs? I, I'm kind of wondering how big this kingdom gets. I Is it really everything that has like the nicer grass? Everything the nicer grass touches belongs to me? It... it would be kind of cool to see it, like, really expand. Uh, news can build. What options do I have? A new facility for carrying out military research. Can I... I don't know if I can actually choose. Yeah, these all are gonna be specifically those spots. Spell works. Alright, whatever. We'll build it. Look how beautiful. Spell works complete it. I should have enough money to make all of these, right? I can't imagine that they would make this a situation where I can choose. Yeah, it's all 350. I'm assuming I can't really do much else besides I don't like the way that looks. That building, not great looking. There's no one there. I'm guessing that's when I'm gonna have to appoint people. I don't know if that's gonna be like specifically who I have or if we're gonna find those people. This building's fine. The armory looks dumb. I don't like the big stupid helmet. But this is this is nice. Quaint. I like quaint buildings. I'm sure the Higgledy Care unit will look dumb. Oh, that's okay too. I don't know. That my I guess my thing is they kind of all have their own unique look, which is, I guess, supposed to be so you could see it easier. 
Once your facilities are up and running, you'll need to set them to work on some research. Most facilities can carry out research of some kind. This can have all kinds of beneficial effects, from making new items available to helping Evan and his friends. In order to research a given topic, you'll need personal personnel with enough IQ in the King's Guilder to fund their work. Some topics may also have extra requirements. Of course, research takes time when research into a given topic reaches 100%, it will be completed, but the more complex the topic, the longer it will take. The higher the IQ of the personnel involved, the shorter the required time will become. And if you really want to hurry things up, you can always spend a few more King's Guilder. At least it's not telling me about real world money. In order to carry out research, you'll need the right personnel. Every citizen is different, and will be suited to different works. You can see which kind of work suits someone best by looking at their ratings under four separate categories. The suitability for a given type of task is known as IQ. For example, you will need someone with a high IQ where military matters are concerned to carry out weapon research. Each citizen will also have their own special skills. As an individual, these can have various beneficial effects and greatly influence where you might choose to assign them. Citizens assigned to facilities will earn more experience the longer they work there, eventually earning the right to have their levels upgraded. Leveling up a citizen via the personnel list in the Kingdom Management menu will increase their IQ and gather speed, gathering speed, making them even more of an asset to Evermore. Try assigning some personnel to the weapon workshop and beginning research in the basic melee weapon development. I don't want to, I want to do the Higgledy one. I... And I can turn icons off if I want to, and I can zoom in and out. And everyone's just hanging out. I want to, like, pick them up. Let me pick up the people. Alright, so... I'm guessing the... Can I see what, uh, things or mean what? Because I don't know, like, obviously the Higgledy symbol and the... Uh, wand symbol very clear the hammer and the swords a bit more unclear I, I guess it shows in the personnel list the uh, sword and I guess that would be combat so it would be weapons and then hammer I don't know like blacksmithing is what the hammer means but Batu seems like the best bet then and then I could technically assign everyone here uh Sure, why not? I don't know if that... I, I could probably just get rid of them if I need to. So that's done. So now we can research... This. And it'll be a bit faster because of... Around one minute. We should just begun into level one melee weapon development at uh, Evermore Weapon Shop. Yay! Now, do I... Wait, I did it! That wasn't a minute. Complete research. We did it! Pretty slick. Oh, whoa! Materials? Good, it looks like your research is complete. By running a kingdom isn't just about research. Certain facilities such as farms and mines will allow you to amass materials by assigning personnel to work there and gather them. The items gathered can be collected from your kingdom stores, which are accessible from the kingdom menu. Don't, uh, alright, from the kingdom stores. Don't forget to claim your fair share of the bounty of the realm. Your stores can only hold so much, so they'll need to empty them regularly in order for your item producing facilities to keep providing you with goods. Kingdom management is a complex business. We've covered the basics here, but don't be afraid to go over them again. Just go to help in the library section because it might be a little scary. I want to get re uh, resources. Let me start that. I want to just buy things. Yeah, um, I feel good about that. Was was uh was I just sitting in the chair thinking really hard about what might be a good idea? And Roland was like, "Okay, I guess I'll do it." So there's ministry in charge of weapons and armor, and one in charge of magic, and even one for Higgledies. Can we go get a uh, Auntie Higgledy, or you know, Mr. Higglesworth? He seemed cool. There are, speaking of which, we don't have anybody skilled in Higgledy management to head up that team right now. Sure to Sprite Savvies, are we? We are, and without it, we won't be making any developments in that area anytime soon. What we need to do is recruit somebody. We just have to think of the right person. Who could it be? Ah, uh, what about Auntie Martha? Who's she when... Who's she when... What is that statement? 
Who's she when she's at home? A friend we made on the way to Cloud Coil Canyon. I guess it's a phrase that's used by some type of people? I don't know what it means. I doubt anybody knows more about those little guys than she does. I know someone who knows way more than she does, though. Perfect, then let's go and speak to her right away, to Martha's Cottage. Now I want to upgrade more. DLC, old coins for new with Nial. Nile? I don't know why I said it like that. Take any ancient Autemnia coins you find to Nile and Evermore, and he'll swap them for shiny new King's Guilders. I don't know if this is like the kind of free update DLC, or... Can obtain them in various places, including Swift Solutions. Get swapping. Swift Solutions? I remember him. <laughs> Got a lot of time for Higgledees. They're like the little brothers. I never had one. Okay, great. Good job, Lofty. Can I do anything else before we go off adventuring? I want to maybe get, like... See if I can build more things. I can look at citizens. Tawny's pretty good with Higgledees. I don't know why we wouldn't just use her. You are too. Niall is... Floyd? I forgot about Floyd. Actually, I have a lot of people that are pretty good with... With Higgledees. Not... A lot of good, uh... Armory people. I don't know what I would want to try to do. Facilities... Unused? What? Oh, there's a lot of unused spots. So I can build a mining camp. Research methods to help in skirmishes. That seems like that's probably helpful. Gather bones, furs, feathers, and leathers. Man, I I might really like doing this stuff. It's gonna be like such a like basic thing, but research item gathering expands your stores. I think I would... So yeah, everything over here right now. Everyday general store, buy stuff, fresh fish market, gather fish. Humble Bazaar. Gather ingredients, cloth, thread, cotton, string, and buttons. Cook and buy food. Gather lumber, resin, and fungies. Research medicines. Get better battle rewards. Yes, please. That seems pretty good to have. It's like a church! So what does research do? Need a little trick that can cause enemies to drop more money in battle? Yeah. Yeah. Let's, uh... So the IQ I'm looking for here is magic. So you, you I, I guess I'll just put everyone to at least have like people working on stuff and then we will research the money making get that underway how long does it say that would take it's like 1% now so a bit alright and then I want to do the this one Cause I feel like skirmish, I, like I don't get skirmish levels, so anything to help that out might be good for us. I need my influence too, and then I can't really assign anyone right now. I could, I guess, th it doesn't matter if there's anyone assigned until I want to build stuff, right? Right? I think that's, like, the IQ only really matters if I'm doing research. And then I only want to really put them in here just to make it go faster. Improved shock tactic whose power sends enemies flying in every direction. Enables much more efficient formations that results in a bigger mighty might gauge. I'm, I'm going to be honest, I already forget what some of these mean specifically for battles, but I'll go for that one. And then... Mining camp seems like a good idea. You don't have enough King's Guilder. Oh no! 
I got too excited about everything else. Let me exit out. Is How much does everything cost? Can I see? Looks like it's all 240-ish. Yeah. I would say I, I chose good, though. Hopefully. And then I would imagine once we upgrade the castle, how much are we looking for here? Expand coffers. We'll be able to hold more. So then I wouldn't have to hold on to it. And then how much is level up kingdom? Okay. That actually doesn't seem too terrible. But I, I guess we'll be good now. Yeah, everything's 240. I think probably the research I started to do cost money, right? I wasn't really paying attention to that. I got too excited. Totally shove some, like, higgledy people here. They're mad for thinking I can't do that. And then does this only show me... I think it actually lets me just choose anything. That seems convenient. Look, I made money! Hey. Since I've earned you... Yeah, I can actually put... Make one more thing real quick with all that time. Uh, continue managing. I also got 13 back immediately there. So, we'll... Put the mining. Never mind. We'll we'll do the mining. Just why not? I don't I don't know what material I really need right now, but I guess anything's good, right? Yeah. Now, do I need to? I probably need to actually assign people here. At least uh, Tani's suitable. I don't know why, but that's good stuff. So Tani can do stuff. How much does leveling up cost? Decent amount. I probably want to start working on... And then this costs money. Cost money to cancel? Or is maybe it's just a warning? Yeah, that all doesn't seem like it costs too much. Uh, let's return to the throne room first, but it looks like we can actually maybe go into town. This, this feels exciting to build our kingdom. So I was under the impression that the skirmishes were going to be like RTS things. Uh, instead of whatever you would call what they really are. Which is like, I don't know. RTS might have been a little funner. Like I thought you would build up stuff like towers. Just kind of running through with a legion of people is not as cool to me. But, I mean, it's something we probably should do. Do you have a side quest? Or do you just have your thing that was the DLC? Cryvins, unless I'm very much mistaken, you found yourself a supply of highly collectible ancient Autumnia currency. I don't even remember if I did. Now what you want to be doing with is handing it to me in exchange for a festival of King's Guild, or would you say? Sure. I knew you wouldn't let me down, laddie. Now let me take a closer look at your little treasure trove. I need to check that you're not trying to farm me of we load of all nonsense. Um, that's a lot. How how much can I hold in? Um, I'm hoping that I shouldn't be like holding on to these. Guess what? We're gonna still be building Heavens. lots of. Yeah. Manage kingdom. I like that we can manage it over here too. That's convenient. Uh, a little upset that... So, right now... I, uh... Probably shouldn't... Worry too much about building other things, because the... I don't have enough people. Can I upgrade castle immediately now, though? Should I just do that? The influence is crazy, which I think will help us a lot more. Territory expands and more facilities. What are the requirements? Oh, it says on the left there. Uh, I need to already have more influence. Okay, that's fine. I figured maybe that would be a problem. Um, so if I level this up, that seems necessary. 
get... Uh, I, I was trying to look to see if there was anything I needed to do. More topics and more slots. Hopefully that doesn't screw up the research being done. No, it's still going. Alright, good, good. I should just keep leveling this up. Can I look at what other research is available? Bags of balls. More blue and green balls. Okay. Just, I still... See about that. I'll go and upgrade skirmishes too. Yeah, we'll upgrade this as well. And then I guess I'll build another facility just to have it. How much can I level this up? If we're gonna have to do stuff there, I can't at all. We'll just build the facilities, cause like, if I'm not researching anything, I might as well dump people there. Oh, there's like a little bone zone. The hunting lodge. It looks like archaeology more than hunting, but whatever. Just keep building areas. There will be useless at the moment. I really should have actually just looked to see about upgrading the mining facility. How much? I could have if I didn't just start going wild. I just like seeing new buildings around. It looks cool. To my kingdom. Oh, new research topic. The adventure pack expansion feature. Oh, this is like a DLC thing. Okay. All new research topics for your investigation in the Explorer's Guild. Completing it will enable you to see any Higgledy stones you haven't yet discovered on the mini-map. Uh, puts a spring in your step, allowing you to whiz around the world with ease. Oh, this seems like it's good just as a general thing. Makes smashing up objects a little more fun by having it yield more guilders. What does that mean? Smashing? Efficient storage solution that increases the size of your stores slightly. And then the stone hunting, which I could just worry about that later. So I actually might want to do some of that stuff then. The, like, the pip in your sup thing seems like that just increases your running speed. Which probably is a good idea. What, what do you need to research this? Higgledy? She's doing something, though. So I don't even know if I should... That might be her upgrading her level, though. That's claimable materials. Does it say where it's claimable? I just have to go to the camp. I think I think the symbol... I don't know. I'll, I'll leave her. We'll worry about the other upgrade stuff when... Hey. Yep, I got it. We'll worry about the other upgrade, the uh, adventure thing when I have more people available.